Good day, I'm Janine Joy T. Kayabiab and welcome to the Laboratory 4 entitled Standard Precaution and Transmission-Based Precaution. First, what is Standard Precaution? Standard Precautions are a set of infection control practices used to prevent transmissions of diseases that can be acquired by contact with blood, body fluids, non-intact skin, including rashes and mucous membranes. All people potentially harbor infectious microorganisms. As such, it must be assumed that all blood and body fluids or substances are potentially infectious. Standard precautions are the work practices required to achieve a basic level of infection prevention and control. The use of standard precautions aims to minimize and, where possible, eliminate the risk of transmissions of infection, particularly those caused by blood-borne viruses. Standard precautions apply to all patients regardless of their diagnosis or patient infection status. Standard precautions must be used in the handling of blood, including dried blood, all other body fluids or substances except sweat, regardless of whether they contain visible blood, non-intact skin, and less mucous membranes. Standard precautions consist of the following practices. Hand hygiene before and after all patient contact, the use of personal protective equipment which may include gloves, impermeable gowns, plastic aprons, masks, face shields, and eye protection. The same use and disposable of sharps, the use of aseptic or non-touch technical for all the invasive procedures, including appropriate use of skin disinfectants, and lastly, the reprocessing of reusable instru inst instrument and equipment. Next is the transmission-based precaution. Transmission-based precautions are additional measures focused on the particular mode of transmissions and are always in addition to standard precautions. They are grouped into categories according to the route of transmissions of the infectious agent. Transmissions-based precautions should be applied when caring for number 1. Patients with known infection and 2. Patients who are colonized with an infectious organism and last, the asymptomatic patients who are suspected under investigation for colonization or infection with an infectious microorganism. Standard precaution versus transmission-based precaution. Standard precautions are the minimum infection prevention and control practices that must be used at all times for all patients in all situations. While transmission-based precautions are used when standard precautions alone are not sufficient to prevent the spread of an infection agent. So that's all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much.